Well, hello. This is the start of the 4x4 four four project. You're going to have to create a composition with four spheres, four cones, four cylinders, and four cubes. So the, probably the hardest thing is going to be drawing the cubes. The cylinders, the cones, the spheres. Uh, well, the sphere might be hard for you, but I'm going to show you some tricks. But when we talk about good composition, good composition means filling up, not always filling up the page, but making sure there's not an area that's empty, that looks unbalanced. Uh, it's a good, good composition should take you through the whole page, um, and sometimes there'll be some emphasis on, on something that we haven't gotten all the shadows in here. The shadows all come from the same spots. We have our dedicated light source here in the corner. You may choose the, the right corner, the left corner, which is the left corner from here. But let's get started. Now, you have to do this sketch before I give you the big paper to do the uh, final project on. The final project's on 12 by 18 paper. But if you were to just start drawing on the 12 by 18 paper, you'd end up doing a lot of erasing on it and moving things around. And this way, we have a blueprint or a plan for what's going to go on your paper. All right, so let's talk about drawing the, the cube first. And uh, I'm sure all of you have drawn some kind of a square in a square and then connected the corners to make a cube. Um, but this looks like it's leaning, you know, and you, ha you have to change this angle so it doesn't look like it's leaning and, and something that was on top of here would roll off and fall, you know, off the side. So to flatten this out, what we're going to do is put this corner and this corner directly on top of one another by these two dots. I'll make them a little bit bigger. Now, this also forms a, a cross, a cross type shape. So, um, you just want to make sure that this, whatever distance you have here is the same distance here, and that this distance is divided in half here. Then you're going to connect your corners you're going to bring parallel lines straight down. And it, it doesn't matter. You're not meeting up this line to the end of this line. You have to make a parallel line. There should be three sets of parallel lines going this direction in, in your drawing. There should be three sets of parallel lines going this way in your drawing. So when I move my pencil across the paper, I'm not having to move it around to get it to line up. If I'm moving my pencil in a straight line across the paper, all the parallel lines are lining up with one another. Even the ones coming down this way, I'm not having to move my pencil around to get them to do that. So this is a diamond shape. And this is a diamond shape, and I did it without drawing all this stuff here. So if you want to practice drawing just a diamond shape, but you can see that this shape flows a lot easier and looks a little flatter. Now, if this looks, edge looks a little high, then you bring that down and it flattens out. And it'll flatten out the top of your, of your box to make it look like it's sitting more level. I'm a big proponent of, of putting the sphere, the cone, or the cylinder on top of the box like this. Okay, uh, You can use this type of box if you can't draw this one, but this one doesn't look as good as this box where the top is, is flattened out a little bit. So let me go over. Start with a cross or a plus sign. Put a little dot on the top of each one. Make sure that the, this line and this line are the same lengths when they're divided in half. Connect your corners or your dots, then bring lines straight down. And we're not connecting the end of this line to this line because that won't give us a parallel line. What we want to do is we want to move your hand back and forth and then move your whole arm down and draw that same direction line. You switch your paper around, line your line up, move your whole arm down the paper and draw and match those lines up. And then you have to end up, you got to go in and erase all of those extra lines that you've drawn so that you have your box. All right, so the next 
The next one is the sphere. The sphere is probably going to be the hardest. So if you hold your pencil in your hand, like a compass, this would be the metal pointy part of the compass, and this would be the pencil part of the compass, and you hold it down and then turn the paper. You if you push too hard, if you push too hard in the center, the paper won't turn. So you got to push just hard enough so the paper can turn. And there's a pretty good circle. If you were to practice drawing hand-drawn circles, you know, you might be a little, little lopsided. But the easiest way is to, to make a smaller circle. You, you make this triangle shape smaller. And you turn the paper around wherever you need your, wherever you need your uh, circle to be. And now yeah, look, got a little lopsided on that side. There you go. So it's real simple to draw the, the, the circle. The, the cone is going to be two, uh, I guess those are diagonal lines, and then you have to make a curve at the bottom. And the curve should, should flow evenly. There should be the same curvature on either side of the center line. So again, two lines and then a curved line at the bottom. It must be curved. It can't be flat. Then it's a triangle. We're not drawing triangles. The cylinders is two lines that are parallel. You make a curved line at the bottom. You make the same direction curve at the top. Then to make the back of it, you have to make the same curve, but in the opposite direction. So these are like two parentheses that are put together. So two straight lines down and a curve, a curved line at the bottom, a curved line at the top, and a, curve, a second curved line at the top that goes the opposite direction. So there's our four shapes. You can use this method here to make your circles. You can hand draw your circles. You can draw your, your cylinders with this curve. And you can draw your cones with this curve. You can draw your boxes with a diamond shape. All right, so I've got some, some uh, shapes here now, and now I'm going to go ahead and finish turning this into a 4x4 four four sketch. So we want to put a, another cylinder with that ball sticking up on that cylinder. And what we're doing is we're adding another layer of value, another layer, not value, but another uh, layer of uh, illusion when we make these shapes overlap one another. You're building up the illusion of space. Alright, so this is making, all this is making this look like it, this ball is floating. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cone right here in front of it. Then I have to erase. That's why all this stuff needs to be drawn lightly. So there's my two cones. I'm going to put another cone up here, and let's see, there's three cones. We'll put another cone over here on this side, and now we're missing, we've got two boxes, we need, we've got three cylinders, we need another cylinder, so we'll put another cylinder way back here in the back, and we see the bottom of it. Uh, we need one more cone, no, we got four cones, Watch. one, two, three, cylinder, four cylinders, four spheres, we need two more boxes. Um, I'm going to put a box way up here. There's my diamond shape. I'll bring those lines straight down. And that puts that box back behind that box. There's my four boxes. One, two, three. We need one more box. Uh, one, two, three. One more box. Let's put a box right over here. Here's my diamond shape. Okay, so now that I have all my boxes, I'm going to dedicate my light source. I'm always going to, I like to go to the left side. So all the shadows start at the lowest part and go away from the light source. And some of the items won't have a shadow because it's blocked out by the other items. Like you don't see the shadow for this box or this box because they're behind other boxes. But you'd see shadows on all the tops of these boxes here. 